Travel chaos ahead of the July 4th holiday. Severe weather has led to thousands of planes being canceled and even more being delayed. This guy waited 18 hours for his flight. Everyone else on the plane had given up and he ended up being the only passenger on the aircraft. Stephen Fabian, who had his own travel troubles, has details. It may be total chaos at the airports, but this passenger has the entire plane to himself. I am the only person on the plane. How many bags do you have to load today, bro? Total of one. <laughs> the passenger was booked on an American Airlines flight from Oklahoma City to Charlotte that he says was delayed for 18 hours. When they did finally call his flight, he was the only one who showed up. I get to the gate and nobody's there except for the gate agent. And I looked at her and I said, did you already board everyone? Like, am I late? And she goes, no, honey, uh, you're the only passenger on this flight. During the two hour journey, the flight attendants gave Phil Stringer their undivided personal attention. Did you get that? Yes. <laughs> they gave me all the food and drink that I wanted. They let me sit wherever I wanted. Stringer says he's even become buddies with the crew. I got the phone numbers of, of the crew members. I mean, we're literally texting each other today. American Airlines tells Inside Edition, we know it can be frustrating when travel plans get delayed and are thankful for our crew members who went above and beyond to care for Mr. Stringer during his flight. But thousands of other passengers had terrible travel experiences due to the storms that slammed much of the nation. My family found ourselves in the middle of the mess. My family and I just landed here at JFK after spending a few days in Bar Harbor, Maine on vacation. And look, traveling with kids is hard enough, but our flight was supposed to be last night. It was actually delayed overnight, and we're getting here to the airport in New York some 14 hours later than we were supposed to. 2,000 U.S. flights were canceled and 8,000 delayed. AAA predicts 4.1 million Americans will fly to their destinations this holiday weekend. That's an increase of about 11% over last year.